Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Andre, and today I'm going to show you how to create fur in Photoshop. Uh, I have this artwork here which I'm working on, and I'm going to show you how uh, I created this in Photoshop. Let me show you. I went from this to this. I'm going to show you how to create a custom brush. It's really easy. Don't don't be scared about that. And if you stay uh, until the end of the video, I'm going to give you a link that will take you to an exclusive tutorial that I created for my website. It's free. You can download the stock and the PSD file for free, but you can only find it on psdbox.com. You will not find it on YouTube. So I hope you will enjoy it and let's jump right into it. So I'm working on this artwork here that I, uh, I don't know if I will finish, but um, I have some ideas and I have this wolf here and let me show you the original image that I got. It's actually a smart object. So I have this image and I created this simple mask using the quick selection tool and this is what I got. Then I saved it as a smart object and I created a soft masking around it, I have some soft edges, and then I created the fur, as you can see over here. So let me show you how I created this. It's really easy, you have to create uh, a custom brush for that, but as I said, it's really easy, don't, don't be afraid of that. And this technique also, uh, also works for creating certain kinds uh, of hair, of human hair. Um, so uh, let's see how you can do this. So what I will do is create a new document, press Control command N, and for this document, I'll create a 500 by 500 pixels document. Uh, it's better if you make it bigger than you actually need because you can um, decrease the scale uh, of the brush later. And it's better than just making it smaller because when you make the brush bigger than it is, it loses quality. So what you need to do here is make sure you have the black uh, color as a foreground color, get the brush tool and select a solid brush okay and the hardness has to be um 100 and opacity and flow as well next you have to press f5 or go to window and choose uh, brush from over here and what you need to do is if you have a graphic style like i like i do is you have to activate the transfer option uh, this uh, and check the control to here on the opacity set control to uh, pan pressure and make sure on tip br brush tip shape you decrease the spacing to something really low lower than 10 percent seven eight or something like that and then uh, you can also uh, activate shape dynamics what you can do with this is uh, as you can see i have a brush of 40 pixels if i set the control to pan pressure what i can do is um acti let me deactivate the transfer if I press really soft on the brush, I make really uh, uh, these small lines. And if I press harder, you can see the brush gets bigger and bigger. So um, that's what you can do with the brush uh, pen pressure. I will only activate the transfer for this because I will use really small radius brushes and the size is not really that important here. So um, I will use about three or two pixels. Now, once you have this ready, oh, if you don't have a pen, uh, the graphics tablet, you can do it with the fade. Instead of changing this to pen pressure, you can choose fade. And I think this goes in pixels. So if you know that your document is, let me switch colors. Uh, if you know your document is 500 pixels, you can set this to maybe 350. And you can see it automatically fades off once you get when when you reach that um, that distance, okay. So you can you can do it this way, like that, as you can see. But because I have the pen pressure, it's a bit uh, easier. So I will change it to pen pressure. Now, um, what you need to do to create the actual hair? Let's hide this. Is as I said, black color, solid hardness one hundred percent, and size about three pixels for this canvas size. Let's leave it on one hundred percent. And what you need to do is just create hairs like that. Uh, with the mouse, maybe it's a bit more difficult, but uh, with a bit of practice, uh, you can do it. Uh, so just create a few um, hairs like that. The previous one was not really that good. You don't have to create too many. 
of them. Oops. But just try to not um, create them really, uh, well, not too many because uh, we will activate a scatter option, something like this. Uh, let's get rid of that. And now you have to convert this into an actual brush. The reason why we use black is because in order to create brushes, you need the black uh, color. Everything that is white will be will be uh, transparent. So now we go to edit and choose define brush preset. And let's give it a name. Let's name it PSD box here. Actually, I'm going to give you the brush that I created originally for that, uh, for the wolf. But uh, as you can see, now the brush is ready. And let's go back to our canvas and let's hide the original layer. And what you need to do is first, let's fill this how it was. When you have an image like this, first you have to smoothen the edges. So I'm going to select a normal brush, a soft brush, and paint with black to get rid of that, of the, of the edge. And with 100 opacity and flow, just paint over your edges to make them a bit softer. This will help to blend the hair. Let's, I'm, I'm just going to uh, do this side because it's the same for the rest of the body. So uh, once you have that, get your brush. You can see I have several ones. This is the original that I created. You can see I created um, many hairs, but it's not really necessary, I think. So um, once, you're get, uh, once you're done with that, get the brush and press F5 again. Now, this brush, we, the custom brush that uh, we just created, we have to customize it a bit more. First, we activate scattering. This will help to scatter the brush, as you can see here. Now, it's too much, so I'm gonna just about 40% or 50. Next, um, if you create just three or four hairs, which you could, you have to increase the count, okay? Uh, in this case, it's not necessary because we have several, so it's not, uh, no problem with that. We also have to activate shape dynamics because with this, we can randomly uh, change the um, the size of the of the brush, so it's not uh, it will not be the same hair over and over again. So um, it's gonna change the size of it, and we're also gonna change the angle so that we get different angles uh, for each hair. Don't do it things like that; just a few degrees, about fifteen or sixteen, even sixteen is too much. About ten percent, maybe. And let's try like that. You can also um, activate the brush projection. What this does, or at least it should, I don't know why it's not working for me, but uh, when, you, when you activate the brush projection, what you do is when you create um, a circle, you can see here you should, it should um, change uh, the angle of it, but I don't know why it's not. Um, is not working for me. At least, at least that's what I, I think it does. So I'm gonna uncheck it. Now let's make our first try. Let's create a new layer. Well, actually, I have it created here. A new layer under the your animal, or whatever you're creating the hair for, and sample uh, a, a color with the Alt key. You can sample colors. This I'm gonna I'm gonna sample something a bit brighter. And as you can see, it's curved because hair here should go downwards like that. But this, uh, if I rotate it, you can see it's pointing upwards. So in order to fix that, uh, you have to go back to the brush uh, settings here and flip one of the axes, in this case, the Y ax. And now I can flip it from here. If you don't have this uh, rotating wheel here, it's because you have an older version of Photoshop, but no, uh, there's no problem with that. Uh, just go here and you will find it here on the brush tip shape. You will have it so you can rotate it. Now you can see the point, the hair is pointing down, which is what I want. So now I'm gonna make the brush a bit bigger and start painting. Now you should, you should um, sample every time you pass through a new area where you have different uh, tone and different colors. Like that, and change also the size of the brush. And now I, here I make it. Uh, I made it a bit quick, and it's not really that realistic. But I'm gonna give you the original one. But the technique is essentially that one. That's how you can create hair. Okay. I think it looks better than now. The color is not matching because I should have sampled from there. But I think it looks better than 
than this. Uh, you can use the smudge tool as well, there are other techniques, but I think this one is more realistic. Check it out. This was the, actually let me show the original. So this, I think it looks a lot better than this. So that's how you can create hair and fur in Photoshop. Now, as I said, I'm gonna give you the link to a, an exclusive tutorial that I made only for my website. Uh, you'll find a card appearing here on the, on the screen. Uh, this will take you to psdbox.com and as I said, it's a free tutorial. It's a video tutorial. You can uh, you can follow it and you can learn how to create this uh, movie poster in Photoshop and you can also download the PSD template if you want to create your own. So that's all for today. A quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.